So we're shredding some straw for the straw slip. The weed eater is the preferred method here. So if y'all have never worked with or seen cob, this is basically what you do. You got your clay, you got your sand, you got your straw and water mixed together, and then it's a stump. <laughs> Mixing. Cabbage is a popular. Get in here and smush it out. You're all mixed up. It's actually quite tiring if you do it for any length of time. Cabbage, potatoes. It's a stumpity stump kind of game. The amount of cob we're mixing today is actually fairly small. If you're building a structure out of cob, <laughs> you, gotta, you don't want to do this with any less than 10 or 12 people. No, you, at least. Yeah, you got to have huge amounts of it. And, you know, we're just putting real thin layers on that for plaster and doing, doing whole walls out of this. This right here would give you maybe, maybe a cubic foot or two. Right. Yeah. It's pretty discouraging if you try it. They yeah. Done a, a lot of so that's something to keep in mind for people who are all enamored with cob is that it's very, very slow and very labor intensive. If you have a huge amount of people, it goes pretty fast, but even then, it's not the easiest thing to work with. Structure from the outside. So here's the house. Curtis and Willow have built. And today we've been plastering the walls with cob. We'll check in on everybody's progress up there. What's up? Checking in on how everybody's doing here. We are plastering the ceiling. Looking good. Mud. We really should have eye protection. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten stuff in both eyes already. Willow took a huge oh, glob of no. cob in the eye. Which but I survived. Good. And now I'm back at it. Yeah. I mean, now I think I, it's just about taking a different angle. Yeah. Don't like get I'm right under it. <laughs> Instead of doing it right above, yeah. yeah. Steel goggles would be great though. So you plan on making this into a healing space, yes? I mean, that's the healing idea. Healing ceremony kind of place? Yeah, like, you know, massage, one-on-one -on -one sessions, maybe small groups. Cool. And then meditation retreats for... And for like up somebody. here is like a little meditation spot, but we might use up here for just like storage and leave down there like nice and open. Right, yeah, this downstairs is pretty big. So yeah, meditation, uh, small groups, massage. Very nice. A little bit of yoga, you know, whatever. It's coming along nicely. I think so. We look out here and we got the gardens. I imagine there'll probably be a deck back here at some point. And creek's right over there. And it's coming along. So now we're going down to the creek. Take a little feel of this nice cold water. You gotta watch out for the stinging nettles. They make really good tea, but they, they burn an itch. tell you it's magical to have running water on the land and it's a real blessing to have that and so wherever you are in life be thankful for the water you have and if you happen to be near fresh clean water then do uh, do give thanks for that because it's a it's a gift that a lot of people in the world don't get to enjoy <laughs> 